Let's take a look at some of the topics we're going to cover in this video series. We're going to start off with an introduction, just very basic level. How does features work? How do we get from our development site and where we've set up certain things and then how we get that stuff over to our production site using features? We're then going to get a little more in depth. We'll look at the actual code that we've generated using the features module. And once we've done that, We'll start making some tweaks and we'll show how the features module shows you the state of your feature and whether it's overridden, how to change things, how to recreate them and deploy that stuff. After that, we'll show reverting features. And what that means is um, we've got stuff set up on our site and we've made a change in code, but now we need to get the production site back to what's in code. We need to revert the production site back to what's in code. And we'll also get a little more in depth in how Drush can help us in that process. We'll also look at how you can get variables into code using the strongarm module. And by variables, we're talking about any variable that is provided, maybe even by Drupal core. We'll show how to get those things into code and be able to deploy those to a production site. We'll then take a look at how, when you're working with a larger team, you can run into certain situations where you have conflicts between what one developer has committed and another developer has committed and start to look at how Git can help us resolve some of those conflicts. Once you get these features into code, it's pretty awesome because they are actually modules. And so we'll show how you can extend your feature just adding any normal Drupal hooks that you would use in module development. We can start to extend and customize our feature. We'll take a look at how you can get creative using features and helping you solve problems, other problems, other day-to-day -day problems that you may run into as a developer by creating your own custom feature to help you do your day-to-day -day development work. We'll also take a look at how you can get your user roles and user permissions into code and deploy those as well. So you can have a, an entire workflow process and have features able to deploy that workflow process for you. Invariably, in working with features, you run into conflicts, circular dependencies, other issues. Uh, we'll take a little more in-depth look and in how you may get into some of those scenarios and then how also to get out of them. If you have a custom module that you've written that saves configuration to code, we'll show you how to leverage the CTools module and the export plugin that it comes with in order to get that configuration exportable as well. Then you can get that wrapped up into a feature module and deploy it to your production site. Finally, we'll go through some other tools and some other resources that are available in the Drupal community and show you how to further integrate features into your development workflow. The features module is a powerful tool that helps alleviate a lot of the pain in Drupal deployment, in creating Drupal distributions, um, we've got a lot to cover in these chapters, so let's just dive in.